If you want to know how to add redirect links to your Squarespace website, well, it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to tell you in this short video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. Now, in this video, I'm uh, a bit of a departure from my usual content, to be honest, because I don't normally talk about specifics in terms of websites. Uh, however, it has come up in the uh, certainly the Ecamm Live community of late, uh, where people will have their, um, their URL, uh, and then they want to add things like affiliate links and so on to the end of their, their standard URL, but then have them redirect to their uh, using their affiliate links. So uh, to give you an example of this, <laughs> the, probably the best way is to say that I'm making this video with Ecamm Live and Ecamm Live is a video production environment for the Mac that allows you to make live videos on the fly with uh, no edits and that's the sort of basis of this whole channel really. Uh, it's an awesome bit of software and it delights me every time I use it and if you want to try it out you can use it for creating content and you can also use it for live streaming but also use it in your Zoom calls to level up your Zoom meetings. Whatever the case you can try it out at takeonetech.io slash Ecamm uh, to get your free trial. Now that is an affiliate link. Now this is the point. <laughs> My affiliate link is not takeonetech.io slash ecamm. It's a whole other URL. However, what I've done is I've redirected it from takeonetech.io slash ecamm to my affiliate link. And that is the point of this video because today I'm going to show you how you do that in Squarespace, which it happens to be the platform that I use. Uh, there are services that you can use, by the way, to actually do just this job as well. So things like Rebrandly will allow you to set up multiple different redirects and track them and various different things like that. But for me, uh, all I'm interested in really, I've just got one source and so I'm just sending them from my main website, uh, as I say, through Squarespace. So let me just now show you exactly how to set this up. So here I am in my website and if I uh, come into my uh, editor in Squarespace, uh, here we go, it should open up now. Uh, and so now I'm in the editor sort of uh, view of it if you like. Uh, and now all we're going to do is we're going to come to the menu on the uh, left hand side, uh, come all the way down to the almost the bottom to settings and click on settings. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of that one and right down at the bottom of here you've got advanced. And then what we want to do is, here we go, fourth one down from the top, URL mappings. So I'm going to click on that one. <clears throat> and normally, if you haven't set any up, then this would be totally blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of separation between those uh, just so that we can see them a little bit more clearly. As you can see, I've got quite a few set up in there. Uh, and here, in fact, was that very link that we were just talking about. So this is slash ecamm. So it's my domain slash ecamm. Uh, takeonetech.io slash ecamm will take you through to that free trial but actually what it's taking you to is it's taking you to this url ecamm.com slash mac slash ecamm live slash question mark fp underscore ref equals take one tech so a bit more of a mouthful for me to say isn't it so uh, i prefer just takeonetech.io slash ecamm and so the way that you structure these uh, uh, these redirects is as follows you have slash followed by what you want it to uh, to be you can actually have multiple different levels if you want of this, so slash something, slash something else. Um, but for now, I've just got the uh, the one there. Uh, and then you have a space, and then you have a dash, followed by a arrow, a right arrow, uh, then another space, and then you put in the full URL that you want to redirect to. And then after that, you put another space, and then you put 301. Now, th this is the redirect code. There's actually two kinds of code, a 301 or a 302. Uh, 301 is a permanent redirect, and a 302 is a temporary redirect. So with 302, if it was a temporary redirect, then Google wouldn't follow them and various other different things like that. It's mainly for search engines, really. Um, but for our purposes, then we just want these to all be 301 because it is a permanent redirect of that particular uh, uh, slug at the end of our domain, uh, at the end of our URL rather, uh, through to uh, to to that to that link. So, uh, and as you can see, I've got various other different ones. If you want to go to takeonetech.io slash coffee, that will take you through to my buy me a coffee page. Although that one's quite easy to remember anyway, buymeacoffee.com slash takeonetech. Uh, and that's all there is to it really. So probably this is going to be one of my shortest videos, but that in a nutshell is basically how you add redirects to uh, Squarespace. Uh, and do, don't forget obviously to uh, to save it if you've made some changes but yeah you can just add in as many as you want down there 
there are ways to do this in uh, other, you know, things like um, uh, WordPress and other platforms as well. You'll find something and that is critical really is the thing that you're looking for. It's uh, It would be under URL mapping. So whether you're using, uh, as I say, WordPress or other platforms, Wix or something like that, uh, then there will usually be a URL mappings in there. You can also do it at the DNS level as well if you uh, want to go in that way and do it through your provider. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm just covering the spare, Squarespace angle. <laughs> so I hope uh, Squarespace users found that useful. And uh, if you've got any questions or you've got another way of doing it, or you've tried one of these other services, such as uh, the one I mentioned earlier, which is just completely slipping my mind, <laughs> rebrandly. Uh, if you are using that, then uh, leave a comment down below and let us all know how that is working out for you as well, because it would definitely be interesting to hear about that. So that's all for now. But if you found this useful, then Obviously, give it a like and a subscribe. And you could even go over to my Buy Me A Coffee page at takeonetech.io slash coffee, <laughs> which will take you to buymeacoffee.com slash takeonetech as well. So that's all for this video, but I'll leave a link to some other great videos over on the right-hand side. And until the next video, have a wonderful day. <laughs>